Nintendo. Why? Why? Why do you fucking do this? Why? Do you just like to watch the world catch on fire? Of course you do. Of course you fucking do. It's alright, me too. I... I chat. Um, well, this was kind of sprung on us. On us all. Um, there is a direct. Here in about 30 minutes. Literally nobody had time to prepare for this. Uh, except for those who actually believed that, uh, that leaker. You know, how, how are we supposed to really believe someone on the internet, you know? I, the internet always tells a lie. Or, well, never tells a lie, but you know what I mean. But nobody took the lie seriously. <laughs> so, yeah, they kind of sprung this. As a matter of fact, I'm surprised uh, chat even let me know. Because you guys were like, hey, girly, hey, fuckface. Um, <laughs> hey, uh, it, 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 listen, there's a direct, and I'm like, nah, you guys are gaslighting me. Because you guys did this last time, where there was a direct, and there was no direct, and it was like, the fuck? And then finally, I went and double-checked, I triple-checked. So, I, I went and I was like, alright, so you got reporters saying that there's gonna be a direct, let me check the, the Nintendo's Twitter. Nintendo's Twitter said that there's a direct and then I'm like, are you sure? And I look at the tweet and I look at the the, the, the handle and I was like, okay, there, there's a fucking direct. God damn it. So, yeah, we're, we're here with that. Um, so, this was kind of sprung at us and, um, the, the direct was around 40 minutes, I believe. Or is around 40 minutes. Sorry, I'm, this, I'm still waking up. I'm also dealing with eye puffiness right now. In my right eye. So, that's always fun. Um. So, yeah, I mean. Really, I kind of wasn't really taking this shit seriously. And then, yeah, chat told me about it. I was like, hey. I was like, god damn it. Um, so everyone who listened to that leaker, um, for those who don't know, last week there was a there was a leaker who uh mentioned this specifically. Uh the and saying, hey, uh in this direct there might be an F Zero game. And a new DK game. I don't know about that. Do I want a new F-Zero game? Yes. Do I want a new DK game? Maybe. Um, I'm not gonna sit here and say that there might be anything PK or Pokemon related uh, in this in this one. Um, I'm, I'm inclined to believe there probably isn't. Um, you know, since Teal Mask came out like two and a half days ago, maybe three days ago. So, I, I'm inclined to believe that there isn't. But, I said this last time, when there was a direct. And, uh, you know, I was proven wrong. We had Teal Mask information, so... I realistically don't think that they're going to spring any information about any new games or Indigo Disc right now. Um... I think we might see more information about Mario Wonder. If whatever, for some reason, we didn't have any more information. I know that there was a Mario Wonder Direct recently. Wait, they got Nintendo. Yeah, Nintendo Direct is today. I I thought it was a joke too. Yeah, I thought it was a joke too, but you guys were telling me otherwise. Like literally, look. Like this is not a joke. Like not a fucking joke. Yeah. 
But, um... Also, oh, hi, Kino. Um... Yeah, it, it's... It's crazy. It's crazy. I don't know. Um... I know we got a Mario Wonder Direct, which was pretty good. I didn't talk about that at all when it happened, but that was because I was busy. And I was like, you know what? I'll I'll come back to it later. Um, I guess now is later because you know, two two and a half weeks later. Because wow, Og, you you do such a good job being a streamer woman. It, it's like, yep. I uh, elephant. Mario, Elephant Daisy, Elephant Peach, everybody's a fucking elephant. Elefante. Yeah. But, uh... <laughs> um... I think we're gonna see more information about Super Mario RPG Remake. Um... And the only reason I say we're gonna see more information... Is... Because... Um... From my understanding, okay, even though it is a remake, Nintendo likes to do this thing where, uh, you know, it, they want to teach the kids, the, the kids who are still suckling on the pacifier about the wonders of their, their games that they never are going to re-release 30 years ago. Because that's fucking Nintendo for you? I, I, I don't know. Hey, Flamey, I just got home. Hi, Rubes, I just woke up. Can you tell? Also, I'm dealing with funny eye puffiness right now. It's like in one eye. I think, I think I'm think i holding in water. Where I have salt. Too much salt intake right now. I think I'm gonna cut back on the salt. That's how you don't have a camera on me today. I literally, it looks like one part of my face is just puffed the fuck up. I DM'd you about my meal deal. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. All right, I don't know if this pisses me off, or if this, if, as an American, does this piss me off? But I, I swear to God, that, listen, I don't know why, what is wrong with you fucking brights? I feel like you're on the, uh, you're in another fucking world. Okay, first mistake as, as an American, I thought that this can here was a can of Tang. Um, but that, that's not what's going on here. Uh, if I could see. Walkers. Cheese and onion. First off, you Brits over, over across the pond, you live in another fucking world. It's called Lay's. Okay? It's fucking Lay's, not walkers. Not walkers. And second off, who, why, why cheese and onion? That is very fucking specific. I mean, I know you guys don't have any taste buds over there, but god damn. <laughs> cheese and onions. Listen, it's sour cream and onion, okay? Not cheese and onion. It is incredibly popular in the UK. Specifically... I like to point out that it's specific to the UK. Because I'm starting to really believe... I'm really starting to believe that the UK is the only place on this planet that doesn't live on this planet. No wonder why you had to colonize the rest of the world. You're fucking aliens anyway. <clears throat> um... Yeah, I, 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 this is, again, I really don't have any expectations. Actually, you know what, I lie. Here's what I expect. 20 minutes of one game, 
10 minutes of games nobody gives a fuck about. Five, ga five minutes of promotional advertising that nobody gives a fuck about. Another five minutes of a game, one game people actually give a fuck about. 30 seconds of NSO. One second of uh, anything worth giving a fuck about. So that that that's my uh, that's my spooky, scary, um, you know, prediction. It was a cheese and tomato baguette. I listen. I I don't care about the cheese and tomato baguette. We have our own thing over here where we have like a tomato and basil and like mo mozzarella slice sandwich. Like, and it's actually fucking spat. My, my mic fucking died. My fucking mic died. I, I hit the mic again, I guess. I don't know. Where did I last leave off? I was sitting here talking about a tomato fucking mozzarella bake ba uh, sandwich. It's actually making me hungry again. 30 seconds of the saying the Pokemon DLC is out. Um, well chat, they don't have to because, um, you know, everybody on, on Twitter wouldn't shut the fuck up about it, so about how they were, how, you know, Japan doesn't know about time zones. So, like, the entire fucking internet feels like they got, they won up Japan. For once. You guys do realize that there's time zones, right? Like, if, if, if one thing's released at, like, 10 o'clock, then another thing would be released at, like, 7 o'clock around the world. Good? Now, I know you guys can't really see it all too well, but it's, like, right, right here. It's, it's, it sucks right now. Uh, it will never not be weird about having common food here as if it's weird. Well, again, you Brit you Brits are like a fucking you're like the the like interdimensional across the pond island living people. Like we all think Japan might be just slightly weird because of their food habits, but you know, and then they look at us and we might be weird because of our food. This fucking planet is weird. Anyway, um, if you're wondering, by the way, what my thoughts are on Teal Mask, um, I, I beat it in one day. Literally the first day it came out. So that should give you an indicator how long this playthrough may or may not be. Uh, Saturday. Um... I, I will have better process of my thoughts when I'm done playing Steel Mask. So, because I am still undecided about it. Part of me wants to shit on it just because it's Scarlet and Violet, and there are clear fucking efficiency problems with it. You know, memory leaks are fun. I love that. I love that they still haven't figured out how to fix that. Good job, Game Freak. Proud of you. Priorities. But, um... You know, but they fixed the fucking PC thing. You were gushing while playing it. Okay, so... What Ruby's talking about is I was super high. Because I had smoked two joints that day. And I was finishing it up. And, uh, I'm not gonna spoil the ending, but the ending is actually was fucking interesting to me. Wasn't even gushing, it was more or less, 
I was shocked to see how that ending played out. And you spoiled a thing during gameplay. Well, I could have just fucking went like... I could have been like Pokelia and just fucking spoiled the entire game in the thumbnail. Yeah, I saw that as well. <laughs> I saw that as well. I, I was like, oh... And then I unintentionally did the same. Again, I could have been like Pokelly. Why is it always the French that ruin a good thing? Anyway, could have been like Pokelly. Drop the what the fuck I was doing. Play the game the entirety in less than an hour of its release and then be the first to upload shit and piss everybody off. Because I don't know the fucking concept of blacking shit out in a thumbnail is. Not true, because he did do- he put Volo, but, you know, he needs to do it more often. At least for the first month. Come on, man. But the views! Yeah, well, you're French. You don't know numbers. That's okay, I'm- I'm- I'm partially French. I understand. I don't know numbers either. I don't even know how to read. Let alone speak. But yeah, I, I, um, I'm not surprised. But there, there I, I will say, I will say that, um, I, I, I will say this. I, there are some clear fucking issues with uh, the DLC uh, programming wise because I guarantee you if someone actually opened up the source code of Scarlet and Violet they would find a jumbled fucking mess of nobody knows what the fuck's going on or developer notes interfering with coding because that's usually what happens um It's just, it's memory leak hell. And apparently I'm not the only one who's having issues with it. A lot of people are having issues with that. Gen 9 as a whole has, has fucking, has this issue. It's, it's crazy. Play me plays with letter blocks in her spare time, Kappa. You know, you, you think that that's a joke, but I was playing fucking Wordle. I've been playing Wordle at work. So we, we say that this is a joke. But it's not a joke. Uh, the DLC, uh, the DLC is unplayable though it has bathrooms cap up. Well, you know, chat, I mean, if the game has bathrooms, it's already a bad game. By default, it, it's already a shit game. Game has bathrooms, shit game. I had some issues, but they seem like they seem to have become less frequent after catching Ursaluna. I don't know if maybe Ursaluna is the problem. But I'm starting to think that maybe that Ursaluna might have been tacked on. I haven't I haven't done the Ursaluna shit yet. I'm like 130 Pokemon in the decks, even with home transfer. But that goes to show how little of a fuck I give to actually work on the Pokedex. I have found three full odd shinies since the DLC came out. I'm glad you mentioned this because uh, last night, while I was at, while I was, uh, you know, I was actually in the bathtub, mind you, trying to like relax.
real quick. Real quick. Who, 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 uh, Toad School and Choodle? That's one shiny I haven't gotten yet. Yeah, I was in the bathtub. I was actually in the bath when I caught this. I wasn't even paying attention to it. I was more focused on the healing aspect right now. And then right there, if you see him. See her. By the way, Masterpiece Sinatra can be found in raids. Oh, yeah? And Diplin works with Evil Light. Yeah, I heard about that. That I actually heard about. The, the Diplin thing. I heard about that. I thought when you said, um, when you said you were saying that it was proof, I, meant, I thought you meant the Diplin thing. I was like, oh. Watch it. <laughs> Watch the fucking Diplin thing just be a, a coding oversight. And everyone's just like, oh, so there isn't one? And it's just a slight coding oversight. And that's like, oops. If you can't tell, I'm not supposed to be up at this late, or this early. Whoops! I mean, there's a gap in IDs. Man, I love chat. Sometimes I just make a joke and then everyone's, but do you know there's actually this? And it's like, okay, I I was making a joke. <laughs> I was making a joke. And what I've noticed, it's always the same people. I'm British. Oh, I know. Listen, Rubes, I, I wasn't going to call you out specifically. But I know I know British people don't understand jokes or humor. That, that humor is like, is like witchcraft, you fuckers, over there. Jokes to you is, um... You know, a real joke is your royal, royal lineage, but you know. We don't talk about that. Anyway. <clears throat> Oh my god, can it please be like fucking time to do this direct? Holy shit. Oh yeah, by the way, my AC didn't uh, is broken again. So expect a more tired flamey. Because uh Well, uh actually my AC broke a few days ago, but it fixed itself. And so, now it broke again. And I'm wondering when I can get this fucking maintenance guy to come over here and check this out. At least you had AC. Yeah, because our houses aren't built like caves. Or at least our houses aren't built like caves. It's like... But, like, still, it's like, I need more AC. I cannot function without cold air blasting into my ass.
you know, part of me is like wanting to go brew some coffee real quick. But I don't want to drink coffee right now. Ruby says, oh my god, they have Snorlax spawn blocking a cave. They did the thing. Oh my god, Kanto! They did a Kanto reference. They did a thing. They did a fucking Kanto reference in a Pokemon game? In a modern Pokemon game? They did a Kanto reference in a Pokemon game. In a modern Pokemon game? Uh uh. <laughs> Because you knew in modern Pokemon, Game Freak can't stop jerking themselves off because you knew it was Kanto. Because Kanto would be funny. And funny is not Kanto. Kanto is just sad and people who can't let go. Gen Waters need to need to fucking move on. Anyway, <clears throat> this is like how Gen Fivers need to move on. I, I, I'm gonna play a game, okay? I'm gonna take a shot of every time I do a bit and Ruby feels like she has to defend Defend the dumb fuckery When really there is no reason to defend it. It's it, it's a fucking bit They cannot move on before blueberry well shit. Thanks for spoiling you gonna make wine with those blueberries? I, oh, sh no! Actually, that's grapes. Grapes are grapes are. Uh... Grapes are the thing. Wine. No, blueberries can be made out of wine. Yeah. Here. Yeah, they can. Yeah, no shit. You actually can't make blueberry wine. Anyway, well, speaking of whining, like a little biatch. I think it's time. No, they. I think. Wait, is this the right ratio? Or wait, am I just dumb? I think I'm just dumb. <sighs> Reset transformation. There we go. Yeah, no. Boom. I love being good at what I do. I also hate being good at what I do. For roughly 40 minutes of information focused on Switch games releasing this, releasing this winter. Nintendo, I, I fucking highly doubt that's 40 minutes dedicated of shit for the the months of October, November, and December, and January, and February. I was gonna say it looked off. Yeah, it had, it had black bars, that's all. It had black bars. A little thinner bars. Thinner bars. <laughs> Anyway. I'm gonna be on that Silk Song Copium, Kappa. You and, like, everybody else who's waiting for Prime 4. Isn't it kind of sad that Bayonetta 3 came out before Prime 4? And they were both announced around the same time frame? Ain't <laughs> that some shit? We're never seeing Prime 4. We are... <laughs> 
<laughs> We're never seeing that fucking game. I swear to God. I They might as well just come clean and say that that game is fucking cancelled. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, they might as well come clean. Be like, hey. Hi, John Nintendo here. Um... You know that game we said, like, years ago when the Switch's first inception came out? You know, that funny Prime 4? Well, guess what? We lied to you. <laughs> it's never coming out. We just suckered you in into a new game. Bitch! Anyway. <laughs> I don't think I will get another tracker bar. I, that was dreadful. Uh, a tracker bar. Oh, oh, the granola bar. Oh. Nah, but genuinely, I'm on that suck song copium. I think you're just on copium, period, Ruby. It's kind of like your thing. <laughs> anyway. We got one minute. One minute and then I can go to bed. I I am not a morning person whatsoever. I'm really not. Like the more I think about it, the more I realize no, I'm not a I'm not a morning woman. I am I am definitely not a warm morning woman. Wow, I like how both Joel and Vinny went live just right now. <laughs> All right, all right, Nintendo. There we go, okay. Welcome to commercials. Welcome to Nintendo Direct. Oh, we're opening up with this? We were just talking about this earlier last week. Here. Side, is that eight? I don't know. But, uh... I'm thinking that might be, uh, no, it's not, it's not what's her name. What the fuck is this? <laughs> How did I just get a debug menu? What the fuck? Oh. I'm act. As for a minute, we go way back. Oh. Oh, who is this character? I don't know. You're gonna make me. Oh, oh, chat. It's, I can hear chat. Play me. When are you gonna do this one? Oh. She's a band member of a song, if I recall. Hello, everyone. I'm Chad. That, 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 that was not good. Today's Nintendo Direct. <laughs> Chat, let's cool off with the uh, with the for wave two with the channel the point stuff. Three expansion pass DLC side order. Oh, while we're watching this, this brand new story is set in the Spire of Order, where you will strengthen your character's abilities as I'm you ascend the Spire of Order. I'm out of points now, anyways. Well, your timing was impeccable because I opened up the Tezuka. So it can be played over and over Whatever the fuck his name is, I can't remember his name. It's planned to release in spring 2024, so please look forward to it. That's not winter. 
You fucking okay, lied to me, let's Nintendo. See our first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. That's not fucking. That's not. That's not. The toys are back in. Okay, town. actually, there might be some validity to what to what they were talking Donkey about. Donkey Kong. Mario. Here we go. The rivalry that heated up on the Game Boy Advance system reignites on the Nintendo <laughs> Switch system. Oh. With his eyes on the prize. Oh. Donkey Kong has stolen all the mini Mario toys oh. from the factory. And it's up to Mario to track him down. Uh oh. <laughs> oh. I oh. In each stage, contraptions and other challenges await. Observation and action are vital to your success. Oh. Mario needs to reach the key, but he can't quite cross the gap. Chat. Hmm. That oh, this is the new Donkey Kong game. Really that means one thing. Though, doesn't it? That only means if one thing. Well, we still this. we still have to see the rest of it, right? Now he can get across. If this is the new Donkey Kong and game. Oh. Oh, this looks um platform too high? Reach it with a handstand jump. Uh, it could be just a coincidence. Like well, I mean, yeah. Observe and act. Chat, does anyone else Mario's get the feeling of like made in Unity? And face Donkey Kong head on. Man, I hope Unity gets their their fucking install cut. In this updated version of the game, <laughs> you can play with a friend in local co-op. Uh, fuck Unity. However you Dude, choose to this literally looks through, like uh, it literally looks like it toys. is actually made in Unity. Mario versus Donkey Kong launches on Nintendo Switch uh, February 16th. We'll talk about the Unity thing later. Nintendo e Shop. I I don't know if I want that. I'm not paying sixty bucks for that. Save the prince and the world. Oh boy, here we go. Guide Sargon as he sets off to save the Prince of Persia and restore the world's balance. A video game tapping into the franchise the or a movie franchise series, that's about what? 2D side scrolling that's older than like 90% of my chat. Dash through breathtaking environments in a mythological Persian inspired world. But don't linger too long if you hope to survive. Harness sword and bow techniques, as well as time powers to best these hostile lands. As your journey progresses, oh, wait, am I thinking Scorpion Sarkon King? I think I might be thinking Scorpion King. That expand his arsenal. Equip amulets to further boost your abilities, among other perks. Yeah, I might be the thinking. Of I might be thinking you can Scorpion is King. Limited, though, so choose wisely. Use everything at your disposal to navigate this harsh world and defeat the mythical beasts that stand in your way. Get ready to save the prince and discover the mysteries of Mount Calf. When Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown, launches on the Nintendo Switch system January 18th, you can receive the in-game oh, it's a Ubisoft too. pre-ordering the game from Nintendo Looks boring eShop. in my opinion. It does look kind of boring. That's why I said nothing about it. But then again, These it's a Ubisoft game. Chase so I'm not surprised. Passions. Rev up for true arcade racing in Horizon Chase 2. Speed through okay, this is a flaming game. I, I love racing games. I do. Style. While overtaking I love it. I love racing games. Road. I really do. Play the main campaign to unlock vehicles, courses. This and is more. definitely uh this is you definitely uh your big your sister will play this probably off stream. Your high octane needs. This Pitching was the F Zero cap. <laughs> God, oh my god, can you imagine a fucking uh, Falcon in a, in a fucking F-150? <laughs> or in a fucking Bugatti? Or a Chiron? Uh, <laughs> Warm up for musical mayhem in this rhythm-based adventure. Time your button presses with the oh music boy. to solve puzzles and battle bosses. Let me guess, Over this is gonna this is gonna copyright away, the vibe. Including music from iconic Konami Bots games. Gone! Woo! Bots the gone! Four friends can battle it out in versus modes or jam together in local or online play. Super Crazy Rhythm Castle launches on Nintendo Switch November 14th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Anya Forger no. has a new assignment no, for listen. school. <laughs> Creating no. a photo no, diary. No, listen. On weekdays, <laughs> you have to Listen, you, you fucking stop this shit right now. You fucking... You, you stop this shit right now. Oh my god, I will... No, stop. 
fucking stop. Why, why is this a video game? Why the fuck is this a video game? I swear to God, why, why is this a video game? What the fuck is going on here? Why, why, why is this a video game? Why, why is this a video game? Why, why is this a video game? Mario's first RPG adventure returns. The Super Mario. And I wouldn't RPG mind Mario and Donkey Kong game if it was like ten pounds on eShop. I wouldn't mind if it was like ten ten bucks. Hell, I wouldn't mind if it was twenty bucks, but not sixty. With action commands to increase damage dealt. Here's something I'm looking forward to. Damage received. I'm very when much looking forward to this. Perfectly, you can now damage all enemies at once. Every successful action command will fill this gauge. When it's full, you can unleash the three Is that a fat Koopa? Move. Did I just see fat Koopa? Depending on your current party, the move will change. So experiment with different combos. During your adventure, you'll encounter bosses with colorful personalities. Makes me wonder if they're going to remake the, the, game, the other ones then. Them again. But these powered up bosses aren't going to be easy. This looks great. And a cock and ball, cock and ball torture Set up my ass. Give Mario me something higher when class. Super Mario RPG launches on the Nintendo Switch system November It'll rip 17. your nuts. Pre-orders are available something, now something. on Nintendo eShop. Hey. Uh, uh. Look alive. We're almost there. Oh. <sighs> what? What's this? <sighs> The Nintendo DS game, Trace Memory, returns on the Nintendo Switch system as another code to memories. One day, a young girl named Ashley I think I remember this game as a kid. Had passed away. Seeking answers, I think I remember she sets Trace for the solitary as a kid. Blood Edward Island in search of him. Once there, Ashley encounters puzzles vaguely. and obstacles I, I feel like I vaguely remember it. I think I've heard of it, never tried it. I, I'm pretty sure I have. Like, I've heard of it, but I probably touched it. Maybe a friend of mine had it when I was a kid. Can you see me? No, I just see the sperm floating in front of me anyway. What truths await Ashley in this place? And no matter how hard I try, I can't remember dad's face. Oh, that's why I remember it, because I remember as a kid making the fun of this sequel, game. Another Code R, Journey into Lost Memories, previously unreleased in North America, is also included. So this is like Juliet, huh? Play both games to experience the full story. Unravel both adventures, fully enhanced for Nintendo Switch, when Another Code Recollection launches January 19th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Another code recollection includes two games, the Nintendo DS game Trace We're Memory 11 minutes and its in. sequel which was never released in North America. We're 11 minutes in and we only got like on Nintendo Switch. Please look forward to three things worth giving year. a shit about. Next, please take a look at this. Okay. Oh, is this the Peach game? I think this is the Peach game. One day a loyal toad presented a flyer advertising a show at the Sparkle Theater. Oh, it is the Peach game. Oh, I'm Princess actually really Peach excited for this. Some toads went to go see it, but then... Oh. Yeah, Chad, I'm glad we're getting more info on this as well. The Wicked Grape and the Sour Bunch suddenly made their grand entrance and took center stage. Now, it's up to Peach and the theater's guardian Stella to save the play and the day. I'm so I'm actually I'm actually this looking forward to this performance has become a terrible tragedy Luckily peach can use the power of Stella's ribbon to face off against the sour bunch The ribbon alone won't always cut it though. I mixed so far. I mean, so I'm, I'm kind of thinking of it I'm just like My fear is it's gonna end up being like super peach DS that, that's my fear. It's gonna end up like Super Peach DS, and nobody's gonna play Whoa. it. Peach transformed into Swordfighter Peach. 
by transforming oh yeah that's totally not gonna you know abilities that's totally not gonna like you know get misconstrued on on twitter good job can peach save this performance and its performers there are more stolen shows to save valuable artifacts from this museum have gone missing Become I can feel the porn already be drawn. I mean, clues and track down I said it a lot done. nicer, but you, yeah, yeah, chat. Yeah, you're right. I can see the fat peach bellies hanging Desserts out of that spandex. Festival. Turn into patissier peach and save it from a sugar crash. I, you know, I, I hate when I say the shit like that and then shit like that pops up. Arts school. Become God damn it. <laughs> and take it back from these foul fiends. Yep, I could see this being also misconstrued. Many other transformations are just behind the curtain. The stage is set. Our leading lady is ready for the spotlight. Princess Peach Showtime makes its debut on Nintendo Switch March 22nd. Chat, should I check out Super Peach? Super Ouija. Peach DS? It just as like a joke before this comes out. That was a new look at Princess Peach Showtime. In Peach's latest adventure, the gameplay changes depending on her transformations. It looks like there are more transformations beyond the ones we showed today, so please stay tuned. Let's continue with well, some Well, I'm more actually headlines. looking forward to this, actually. Like, I really am looking forward to this. A new saga begins. Oh, boy. If this is what I think it is... A multi-layered RPG full of rich stories awaits in Saga Emerald Beyond. There are six heroes to choose from. A young man who fights with sentient puppets. A witch disguised as a schoolgirl to mask her identity. A crime-fighting duo chasing down a mysterious organization. A songstress mech who lost her voice and body. I think I'm playing one of the games. I think I'm playing Scarlet Grace. Darkness, who was recently reawakened. So Eventually, I don't know. I don't know if it's actually the series in particular, but connected worlds as they strive to achieve their goals. How the story unfolds is in your hands. The choices you make can I'm not sure this is what kind of gave you last so far. At least with the war peach by showboard. It just should be later. Fight in timeline battles, turn-based combat in which turn order is I mean, crucial to victory. I'm looking forward to it. I Use I don't know. Special techniques to control the order of actions or activate team combos to swing the tide of battle in your favor yeah if this is any indication of saga what i'm Emerald expecting Beyond, with saga scarlet grace switch next year um that's not winter you fucking liars the legendary raider returns the first three tomb raider games all with upgraded visuals are venturing onto nintendo switch in one daring collection how dare you remove my triangle titties what the fuck lara croft you travel the world God damn it! Look at the polygons! And even the polygons! <laughs> Climb, backflip, and swan I, I, dive I've never played these games, chat. I don't fucking care. And mythologies. Along uh, the way, and you know what the worst part about it is? They made the tits even more protruding. And unravel mysteries. <laughs> yeah, lost fucking unplayable. No tits. This faithfully remastered trilogy comes faithful. with all the expansions and <laughs> fucking faithful chat. Game. Yeah, that you can also toggle between the original polygon look and the upgraded visuals at any time. Chat, I can see the fucking nipples popping out. Holy shit! Croft launches on the Nintendo Switch system February 14th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. That's okay. That is winter. I, I'm not gonna play it. I mean, detectives got you know. A second bolt of brilliance. Oh, is Pikachu gonna hang itself this time? I hope so. Every great detective starts their day early. I could, this I could feel Ryan the voice City, actor's pain. A place where humans and Pokemon coexist. The detective duo of Pikachu. Playable square boobs are in. Yes. Tim, investigate various cases while searching for Harry, Tim's missing father. Tim interviews people, Pikachu interviews Pokemon, and they find the truth together. They'll also rely on other Pokemon to broaden the scope of their investigation. I still need to play the original. Follow sense with Growlithe. Smash rocks with Darmanitan. And peer through walls with Luxray. 
chat. Uh, you know, every Can't time I think of this fucking game, I, I, the, the series, I now Harry? forever will think of Vinny's like Detective Pikachu corruptions. Find out when Detective, Detective Pikachu Pikachu returns. Rule 34 launches on Nintendo Switch October 6th. Pre-orders are available That Pikachu now has a Nintendo thick Wii ass. Wii this game's a real two. <laughs> Raise your brass for the quirky rhythm game Trombone Champ. Oh, I bet playing this is gonna be a Play fucking nightmare. Time with the music as best you can. I bet playing this is gonna be a but fucking nightmare. Let's switch. Is up to you. You can use gyro. Okay, you know what? All right. Up and down. For people who don't have nerve issues in their wrist, or this the might actually be fine. Camera on the right Joy-Con controller. The controls are pretty unique. Yeah, I can I can see that. Control scheme. I can fucking see that. The park. Imagine <laughs> honk your way through nearly. Imagine if you're in like public doing that genres. shit. You're probably gonna be like, like judged. Electronica and everything in between. Plus, up to four musicians can. I can see myself on the fucking food court. Trombone hey, you want to see me play trombone champ? Switch <laughs> later today. Battle your way to victory in these Nintendo Switch games. Ten teams of three will duke it out for survival in this online battle royale brawler. Knock your opponent's health down to zero and deliver a finishing blow or shove them off the collapsing terrain to win. Choose from 15 heroes, each inspired by a different mythology. Work with your allies to be the last team standing. This direct so far has been Battle really bad. Is free to play and we're and halfway through. I know. On Nintendo Switch next spring. Oh, we got halfway, chat. Beta test will be available this October. We got halfway. Lead your mercenaries to fame and fortune in this open world tactical RPG. Take up various contracts, from protecting townsfolk from thieves to vanquishing the land's most notorious figures. Before battle, honestly, you know it's pretty bad. What this entire time I've been looking at my phone and live to see another. Looking day. at Twitter, up to four players online. Because it, I really, and this is this is this is this is bad. World. War Tales launches as a timed console exclusive on Nintendo Switch later today. Run and gun in this reimagining of the beloved NES classic, Contra. Blast through explosive stages with a devastating Okay, well, at least Contra got, Contra got a remake. Forces. Spring into action with easy pick up and play controls and a well, you know what? That's good for the options. fucking boomers this in the video game industry. At least they got their Contra fix. Features new weapons. They got their enemies. Contra fix. Powerful super attacks. And a four-player co-op mode. Contra Operation Galuga Contra. storms onto the Nintendo Switch Shoot system your cunt. early next year. Liberate your kingdom, reclaim your destiny. Tis a grievous tale which speaks of Febreth, one of stolen destiny, stolen minds. I legit have so many questions as to yeah, why they the thought showing 40 minutes of this shit was worth it. Evil, a fallen prince shall rise again, ring of legend lighting his path. That is the ring of the unicorn, ancestral treasure of Cornea's royal lineage. Legend speaks of your ancestors wielding it to purify evil. Why does the name the Cornea ring a bell, chat? The path before us is laid bare. Is this for is this a foyer emblem? Walk is this the foyer emblem? Freely traverse an expansive world. Gather new allies. Is this the funny foyer emblem? And lead the liberation to glorious victory. Cultivate a grand army with over 60 unique characters from humans and elves. Oh, there's there's some fur trash in there. What the fuck? Heavenly angels. Today marks our first foray into the mists of despair which hang heavy over our home. It may take days, months, or even years, but I just shall like this direct in my patience. It might take months. It might take. It, it, 
present the rebirth of tactical fantasy RPGs. Unicorn Overlord. Oh. Available March 8th, 2024. I've never heard of this before, but okay. Uh. Oh! Is this the reimagine? Is this the reimagining, or is this a new game? <laughs> Luigi's Mansion oh, Two okay. HD. Just Dark Moon. Okay. Welcome to Evershade Valley, a place that's screaming and teeming with the supernatural. Luigi, our faint of heart hero, was sent here to check it out. Chat, I've actually played Dark Moon. Time for some mansion when it first mayhem. came out. And no spooky adventure. I, I couldn't find the appeal of Luigi's Mansion, device, but or, or at least Dark Moon. Use it to light up dark areas. Can't really say about the original game, but and interact with the or three. It's a handy but, tool um, for your paranormal escapades. Yeah, Dark Moon never really. Plus, when I never really stuck with me. Pop! You can stun them with the strobe ball, then vacuum them up. <laughs> You can even grab multiple ghosts at once. In this game, you'll find ghosts haunting a former plant research lab. Man, I really need Nintendo to like do some awful Don't PR shit again because like of sand. that's the only way we get good directs nowadays is when places. Nintendo does some fucked up These shit and then does the I'm sorry directs the book to block your path. Ain't that some fucking shit? Can Luigi summon his courage and save the day? Nintendo, do some fucked up PR shit that pisses everybody off other ghost and makes your stockholders fucking scared. And some that way, like, your shareholders, like, scared. And that way we can all have, like, an, an I'm sorry direct Luigi's that's, that's worth more HD. than this fucking shithole direct that we're, we're receiving right now. Next summer. How was that? Fucking shit. Next, we have two announcements to share. Yeah? First, I hope your penis size isn't one of them because you really are overcompensating right now for the shit I swear to god if this is a promotional thing It's a promotional thing It's a large question block Actually, this question block currently appears on the roof of the previously announced Nintendo Gallery that's under construction in Uji City, Kyoto Prefecture. The official name of this gallery will be the Nintendo Museum. At the Nintendo Museum, a wide variety of Nintendo products from the company's history will be displayed. I woke up for this. Construction is going well. I fucking woke up for this. Finish up by March 2024. I woke up for this. We'll share more information, such as the opening date, at another time. Please I woke tuned. up for this. Next, we'd like to share some updates on upcoming Amiibo figures. The Zelda and Ganondorf Actually, Amiibo those look really good. On November 3rd. I really like Gel and Ganon. Amiibo figures of Noah and Mio from the Xenoblade Chronicles 3 game will Somebody's be Somebody's gonna overinflate that, that fucking cat girl. I can just see it now. And finally, we have a new amiibo figure to announce. The We're still releasing Super Ultimate Smash Amiibos? Brothers Ultimate, Sora from Kingdom Hearts is on the way. <laughs> With the release of Sora, everyone is here in Super Smash Brothers <laughs> Ultimate in amiibo form. Please look forward to its release next year. <laughs> the fucking face! I don't know why, That's but the face is the today's amiibo announcements. Next, please take a look at this. Oh, okay. Well, let's see. No fucking way. Oh my no, don't don't the no. first F Zero game returns as a 99 player battle royale. Fuck out of here. <laughs> Zero wow. Zero courses with machines from Are you gonna disconnect this NES one too? Tear through courses oh and high speed races. Oh my god, this is insanity. Careful. 
your power meter will decrease if you crash into pilots or guardrails. If it hits zero, oh you're mad. Out. Okay. <laughs> you need to avoid collisions and conserve your power meter to stay in the race. This is gonna be fucking insane. Okay. Feeling risky? Spend some of your power meter for a temporary speed boost. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. This is going to be fucking insane. You can also collect super sparks, which appear when machines wow. collide. Wow. To boost up to a special path called the Skyway. The Skyway. Are, are you going to disconnect? Okay, Nintendo, be honest, though. Jumping into a are you, <laughs> you going to fuck this up like uh, Mario 99? Complete goals while you're racing to unlock you better cosmetic not. options for your machine. Wow. Watch, this game's gonna have its whole fucking meta and, and its own Nine meta and everything. Players, one winner. Oh, it's dude, you already know. You already know I'm playing this. I love F F zero ninety nine will be available exclusively for active. Yeah, that kind of answers my question about the DC shit. Today. Okay. Yeah. I'm. I'm not surprised. More than 30 years after its original release, F-Zero is back as a battle royale game. This is the most anticlimated F-Zero announcement, but it looks fun, but damn. Exclusively yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm actually gonna check it out. We hope you will give it a try and aim for first place. Oh, I will, I'll okay, give it a try. Let's continue with some more headlines. I'll stream it, why not? One little hero, one human. And now back to, back to my time being wasted, cool. Welcome to Vandal City, a whimsical land inhabited by small fuzzy beings called Yordles. After a party gets a little too wild, the portals holding the land together collapse and throw everything into chaos. It's up to you and your knitting magic to stitch Vandal City back together. Journey across the land to gather materials. That was 100% the Donkey Kong portals. game. Oh, yeah, absolutely. As you continue gathering and crafting that you can weave together. If that's, new if that's, the, if that's what that is, the then I, I don't, I will. Enchant your experience even oh, chat, this is going to be a rough year. And hosting festivals for the community. Can you save Vandal City? And what mysteries will you discover during your magical adventure? When do they say the, uh, the F Zero game is supposed to come out? Story launches on Nintendo Switch next year. Is it supposed to be out now, or is it supposed to be out later? Wait, later today. Oh, okay. Join so we'll check it out. We'll check it out. Um, on a not today. The frozen wilds of the but we'll check it out. Jump. Um, probably climb, Saturday. And sled your way through a beautiful yet treacherous land, where every step taken and each puzzle solved will bring you closer to the truth about these friends and their past. Song of Nunu, a League of Legends story, launches on the Nintendo Switch system Song of Nunu! Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. The, the, the fucking guy with the mustache was saying yes, Let's yes, yes, and my brain went to Skibidi Toilet. A trip with these chumps doesn't feel like a prize. Damn, Wario, you're, you're mentioning that on a whole different level, but it felt it feels right to say about this direct. This tropical resort contains tons of micro games that'll get your body moving. <laughs> In each micro game, you'll get into a specific pose called a form. Copy the form shown, then perform the correct action as quick as you can. Oh. <laughs> oh no. The micro games will come one after another, so look alive. Plus, up to four players can battle it out in party mode. Oh no. Reach the goal without getting caught by Medusa. I can hear it now. Play me, will you will you play this or game? Settle the score in an arena to be the last one posing. With over 200 lightning fast micro games and multiplayer. That looks mode dreadful, I'm sorry. Everyone's in for a wacky time. WarioWare Move It launches uh, on the Nintendo Switch system. November it looks good. It's WarioWare. Pre are available now so, on I mean, Nintendo e -shop. I don't know. A heroic tale will soon unfold. Nothing saving this direct. Lead an army of over 100 heroes into battle and put an end to an empire's invasion. Meet Noah, a humble villager. Sane, an officer from the Empire. And Marissa, a forest guardian. 
these three band together to fight for a common goal. On their journey, they'll meet a variety of heroes who can join their cause. This is your home base, known as the headquarters. As allies join you, additional facilities will become available. You'll be able to tend crops, open shops, and more. Each yeah, hero you encounter um, has their own backstory and motivation. Yeah, once again, I'm just kind of like... They may not always get along at first, but these conflicts may strengthen the bonds between your heroes. Trust. Betrayal. I'm just kind of like sitting here Justice at this point looking at my phone. And truth. Looks like Twitter is pissed. Tale will begin. When Ayudin Chronicle 100 Heroes launches on Nintendo Switch, April 23rd. Oh yeah, they are... Nobody is not happy. Some pixel perfect play. Next stop, Octopia. Travel to a charming parallel world in this paid DLC Oh no, for is it another Chucklefish game? Sam and John turn the pages of a new chapter as they adjust to country life in a mountainside village. Tend to livestock. If it's Look anything, if it's anything like um, that one and great game. Store buildings to help the village thrive. And Please say it's not, because work, that grape game was, worry. like, the controls were the not DLC, good. Even if you haven't played the main story. Eastward, Octopia, ventures onto Nintendo Switch Oh, it's holiday. Eastward. I still need to check this game out. Get back into the groove. In this sequel to War Groove, charge across three tactical campaigns with valiant factions, including a new mouse folk faction, the Fari. Plus, I heard that the first game was all right. Your commander's group to unleash like, it wasn't good, attacks. but it was okay. Lead a roguelike offensive in conquest That looks mode. dreadful. I'm sorry. Battle friends locally or online. This direct has been like or create and the biggest like fucking time waster. Campaigns. War Groove 2 marches onto Nintendo Switch as a console exclusive October 5th. Get out of my way! Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Dive and catch fish by day. Then serve them as sushi by night in the aquatic adventure, Dave the Diver. Use the fish you've caught to concoct Dave recipes the diver. and create the day's menu. Then tend to the clamoring customers at your sushi restaurant. Explore an ever-changing underwater world to find the best ingredients and strive to exceed culinary expectations. Dave the Diver launches first for consoles on the Nintendo Switch system October 26th. Pre-orders and a free demo swim onto Nintendo eShop. How many of these today. games do you think actually get pre-ordered, chat? The final wave is racing in. You said that last Here's a year. Peek at wave six, the final wave of the Mario Kart. You said Deluxe that last Booster year, in the year DLC. before that. From the Mario Kart, the year Kart before that. Game, Daisy Circuit. More oh my God. Characters are also being added in wave six. From the Mario Kart Double Dash game, Diddy Kong. From Mario Kart Wii, Funky Kong. Hey, bros, I'm in the game, bro. I'm in the game, bro. Yeah. And from the Mario Kart Funky Tour game, in the game, Pauline. Is she just driving a, an altered version of Wario's fucking vehicle? Yes, she is. Yeah, she is. Yo, Funky Kong is here. Wave six it's gonna of suck your turtle Kart shell. Deluxe booster course it's gonna suck DLC all your blue shells. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe game drives onto Nintendo Switch Funky this Kong holiday. Funky Kong is gonna suck your blue shells. Active Nintendo Switch Online Plus expansion pack members can enjoy you this know, DLC at no additional cost. You know, I want Funky Kong to suck cost. my blue shells right now because my blue shells be are... I, I feel like I'm literally own. getting blue balled at this point. Something new is among us. This is a joke, yeah? This is this is a joke, right? It, this is not a joke.
No, this isn't a joke. I mean, Among Us is fun, but it seems late, really. I've never played Among Us. I, I, this is the one streamer bait game that I just, I didn't touch. For, for good reasons. This new map for Among Us is free and launches this October. Oh, th okay. What did you think? Thanks for sticking with us this far. Yeah, I bet you're begging us to stick this far. Next up, we'd like to recap some of the previously announced Nintendo titles you can look forward to playing from September onwards. Let's take a look. Okay, set us later today. Literally the only thing I give a shit about in this. Well, at least that was quick. I wouldn't say it was quick. I was sitting looking at the time and looking at my phone. This is, this is awful. Chat's right though, there better be something to save it. It's not even a good save, it's a complete waste of time if it isn't a good save. We hope you're looking forward to these upcoming titles. I'm not. This next video will be our last announcement. Please take a look. I'm sorry, what? Okay, is this a new Paper Mario, or is it a remake? Because that really just depends. I think it's actually a remake. Wow, okay. Unless this is actually a new game. I, I mean, I really can't tell right now. When I see, when I see Gumbella, I think, okay, it's a... It's a Oh no. Nah, it is the Thousand Year Door. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. I was hoping it wasn't like a sequel to a Thousand Year Door. Damn, it's, is it really that old already? Where it needs a remake? I'm sorry for the lack of any excitement, but I'm actually am excited for this, but I'm just like, huh? out and remade the re, re, remade the fucking uh I'm sorry is this a is this a how to, to 29,000 meme in 2024 okay Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door originally released I just have to do the trans girl Game justice this time I hope so too with enhanced graphics whether you but play damn, direct's not safe. Play it, we hope you look forward to experiencing this adventure in a paper world starring Mario and friends. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you for watching. Uh-huh. Um. Well, uh. Chat, how we feeling? How we feeling? Uh, 
how, how are we feeling about that? Like I wasted an hour. Okay, so I'm not the only one. Okay, cool. I don't really... Uh, it's like, I don't want to sit here and say that all the directs should be, like, like, big and exciting and shit, but, like... It's like, really... Well, okay, the only things that I actually really gave a fuck about in this direct was... The Mario game, Mario RPG, F-Zero, and Thousand Year Door, and WarioWare. Yeah, out oh, in the Peach game. Hold on, chat, give me one sec. I apologize about that, you guys. Oh! Sorry about that. They're here to fix my AC. <laughs> Thanks, Swamp. Hi, guys. Um, bad timing, Swamp. <laughs> I'm about to actually head out. Um, why, why did I, why did I do this anyway? <laughs> so yeah, that that that's the gist. Is cooking. Please play a Nintendo game. I can't. I gotta go. My, uh, the AC repairmen are here, so. But, uh, I'll give you guys a, a, a simple thing. I'm looking forward to F-Zero. Um, this, this direct was a waste of time. I feel like I wasted it. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, I mean, that's really it. So, I'll see you guys Saturday.